All right, this one's about, uh, this is about alpha channels and there's not great news, so at least from what I can tell, I need to do some more exploration, but um, basically got the same kind of file uh, for these blue ones. I um, have this alpha channel here, which you can see goes 100, 80, 60, 40, 20, and that's like five, and that's it. Uh, I did that for all of these. And then for um, black ones, I did the same thing, but with this circular, um, same thing, same values. Um, I have that map, uh, that alpha channel. For the um, the white ones, I have this alpha channel, which is just kind of a again it maps in a weird way to it. But, um, but then for the red one, I have a couple of these with the same alpha channel. Um, no, like invert, none of this is supported, uh, again, that I can tell. Uh, what I do have here is on this one, I have no alpha channel. But on the reflectance, I didn't go over this on my last video, but um, on my reflectance on this roughness channel, I actually have a texture of this image here. And um, you can see it kind of change there if that's happening. That gives it this kind of texture on that on that kind of magenta one, and on the bright pink one, I have reflectance as well. Um, but in the color channel, I have this alpha, this uh, black and white image here. So I'm going to um, let's see. So let's render that out. So I just rendered it out actually. Let me just pull it up. So with the alpha channel, oh, and then on black, I put a, a, a displacement map just to get some variety. Um, so the bad news is we have this kind of tessellation on each, each. It's like every other polygon has the alpha channel. Um, you can see it down here as well. Um, and I just can't seem to find a way to fix it. But the good news is I'm it's only on the outside, on the inside it seems to work. So I think it's a, it has to do with the double-sided thing. Um, but you can see it all the way down, the blue ones as well, you know, hit that, red ones as well. But uh, here, what I want to show you on these, let's see if I can figure it out as well. So on the red, you can see this alpha, or this, this is in the uh, reflection channel. And you can see that um, it's only reflecting on certain spots, right? Um, this is a different one that I put in there with these triangles. And it kind of gives it, you can see, you could do a really cool kind of really some texture there. And then I normal map on that. But um, this is not alpha. This is just that. And then on the color channel, I have this. And so that pink is coming through. But only where it's white, and then when it's black, it's uh, it's just black. So uh, anyway, but yeah, here, like, look at this one. Here, this to here, right? This side looks great. This side doesn't. And it's all the way through these. If I come up in here, I go into the shape. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm in. Let's see. See it's smooth on that side, so not totally sure what that's about. Um, in fact, if I come into here, I'll try this export DXF. Turn off the double sided. My guess is it's going to be the the wrong. It's not going to be the result we want. Um, let me just try it real quick. It's really big. I was trying adding more geometry or subdividing it, but it's just Anything work, so run that again. Um, I mean, it looks like I actually have to fix it, but um, I guess that kind of fixes it actually. I found the blue ones. Oh yeah, you know what, I guess that kind of fixes it. Um, except you can't, 
No, this doesn't fix it though. Never mind. Yeah, it's still there, and yeah, you lose the, the eight in your head in the first place. So that does not work. Um, I've seen this done though, so I'll have to just explore more. And maybe this is, just doesn't come out of the box when you, when you can't do it out of the box in the export video. Um, anyway, that's about all I have for this one.